In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to subtract positive and negative integers. So let's begin. We have 5 minus negative 3. How can we evaluate that? Well, here's some things you want to know. Whenever you have a positive number times another positive number, you're going to get a positive result. Or in other words, when you multiply a positive by a positive, you'll get a positive. A positive times a negative will give you a negative, and a negative times a negative will give you a positive. You may want to write that down. We're going to use that a lot in this video. So 5 minus negative 3. Notice that we have two negative signs next to each other. A negative times a negative is a positive. So this is equivalent to 5 plus 3. Using a number line, if we start from 5 and we add 3 to it, when adding, you need to travel to the right. So we're going to travel 3 units to the right. This is 6, 7, 8. 5 plus 3 is 8. For the next one, we have 7 minus negative 4. So we have two negative signs next to each other. A negative times a negative is a positive. So this is 7 plus 4. So if we start with 7, add 4 units to it, we need to travel 4 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will take us to 11. 7 plus 4 is 11. Let's try these two examples. Negative 4 minus positive 7 and negative 5 minus positive 2. The first thing I would do is simplify the problem. A negative times a positive is a negative. So this is equivalent to saying negative 4 minus 7. Let's say we start with the first number, negative 4, and we want to subtract it by 7. To add, you want to move to the right. To subtract, you want to move to the left. So we're going to travel 7 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, negative 11. So negative 4 minus 7 is negative 11. So that's how you can use the number line to get the answers to these problems. Now, negative 5 minus positive 2. A negative times a positive is a negative. So this becomes negative 5 minus 2. Using a number line, if we start with negative 5 and subtract it by 2, we need to travel two units to the left. So this will take us to negative seven. So that's the answer for the fourth example. Let's try two more. Two, negative two minus negative three and negative seven minus negative three. A negative times a negative is a positive. So this is the same as negative two plus three. Using a number line, We'll start with the first number, negative 2, and we're going to add 3 to it. So we're going to travel 3 units to the right. 1, 2, 3. This is negative 1, 0, and 1. So negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. Now what about the last example? Negative 7 minus negative 3. So we have a negative times a negative, which is a positive. So this becomes negative 7 plus 3. Using a number line, we'll start with negative 7, and we're going to add 3 to it. So we're going to travel 3 units to the right. Negative 6, negative 5, negative 4. So negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. So that's how you can subtract positive and negative integers together.